You are watching The Reality Show, streaming live on stlucifirst.com. This is The Reality Show. I am Werner Thanos. As we move from the studio now to Corinth and to the 5K organized by the Monsters Athletics Club. Terry Finister, President, Monsters Athletics Club. Um, this is our first uh, five kilometer run slash walk. Um, we have, uh, as you can see, our participants just getting registered, just getting started. It's happening in the Corinth Marisol area. Um, so it's a Monsters Gross Lay 5K officially. Um, we're very pleased that we've got some participation from overseas, Dominica, the the Dominica Athletics Association sent three members and we're really delighted with that because obviously I mean with all that's been going on in Dominica uh, we really wanted to reach out to our friends over there and try to um, help, help them you know restore their, their sense of normalcy help them you know be able to get involved in a competition so they've sent three athletes over we also have Kenisha Pascal here from Grenada and she's a really exciting runner she's very competitive so we're expecting to see a really strong race from her as well um, as well as a number of St. Lucia's uh, finest Runners, um, Jason Sayers uh, should be somewhere around. He's a, an area champion, of course, um, being from the, the current area. His father, um, Charles Sayers, is there as well. A number of uh, folks from Roadbusters, and of course, a number of athletes from uh, Monsters as well. So we're excited about it. Um, it uh, has been generating quite a bit of buzz. Uh, we've got support from the likes of Lucelec. Lucelec has really stepped up big time to help us out um, and to, to help us in terms of getting the prize money and some of the logistics covered. Um, and uh, we're basically ready to get underway. Well, my name is Eleonora Roberts. I'm with a small contingent of two from Dominica. Came in yesterday and we're hoping to take part in the 5K today in, in San Lucia. Right, so tell us what exactly inspired your interest in this 10 to 5K. Well, I always run 5K, I still have run running 5Ks and I was asked to accompany these two young people to St. Lucia and I was happy to do it. Alright, uh, and your expectations about this race today? Well, I'm not sure what to expect <laughs> <laughs> because I'm, I'm running the over 50 category. Okay. Back home where I come from, I'm usually the only person in that category. <laughs> so, I don't know if we're going to be different here or we're going to be the same thing. So, I just, after the race, I will see what's going on. Hi, good morning. I'm Kenisha Pascal from Grenada. Uh, my reason being in this competition is because of the lack of competition that we have home. And coming here is just a plus to my competition for this year. Okay, so how did you hear about this? Oh, I think if I could remember clearly, um, media personnel from home, together with some local athletes that you all have here, that threw it out to me. And I thought that it, it's a good decision to come here and compete with you all guys. Mm -hmm. So tell us about yourself, what club do you run for on Green and so on? Okay, I'm in Club Track Blazers back home. I've been sponsored by the Grenada Trade Center, that's GTC. And I'm the number one distant athlete back home. Alright, so tell us about your expectation here. Are you familiar with the road here at all? Yeah, not quite, but I think the route is straightforward. It's nothing complicated to be worried about. So you're pretty comfortable? I'm pretty comfortable. So we can expect you at the finish line very early, <laughs> even this morning? <laughs> I don't say those things before I run, yeah. but expect a good show. And I wish everybody well in the race. May they be the best person winner. Toya! Toya! <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? Since you're pretty ass, as soon as you came in the door I just wanna chill, got a sack for us to roll Married to the money, introduced her to my stove Showed her how to whip and now she remix it for low She my trap queen, let her hit the band -Aid. We be counting up, watch our bottom bands go We just had a go, talking about the Lambos I'm 56 and grand, I'm a hundred grand
First of all, we must commend the Monsters Athletic Club for putting on such an activity right in the midst of the festive season. I think it was a very bold initiative. Uh, we didn't expect the, the number of participants that one would expect. However, we must commend everyone for turning out here this morning. It was a very, um, very competitive race. We had a number of persons, a few persons from overseas, from Trinidad and Dominica, which offers well for the whole integration of track and field and sports within the Caribbean. As expected, one would one would have seen the the dominance of the other road um, busters runners with Michael B. Said, Michael James, who actually led the charge. I must commend um, um, Sales, Charles Sales, for being very consistent, very persistent, taking road um, road running to another level as far as the seniors is concerned. So he must be commended together with his um, his other um, contemporaries for coming out here today. All in all, I, 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 I think that it, that is a, a, a well-organized um, activity. Kudos to all the participants. We saw a number of youngsters particip participating here today, both male and female. They did um, they caused very well, and it offers well for the continuous development for road running in St. Lucia, which has been pretty dormant. So, uh, as I would end by saying, kudos to the Mon Stars Athletic Club for putting on this very auspicious activity. The experience was wonderful. I yes. love it. I enjoyed the race. I enjoyed the course and everything. But hopefully next year it will be better because you had part of the race that, that part of the route that I wasn't really familiarized with. What was it like for you? Uh, it was nice, challenging, good company. So you know, competition is always good. <laughs> Um, but it's been a while since I've had a morning run, so that was the only challenge, getting out of bed and finishing this. But it was nice. It was good. It was good. And the turnout was lovely. It's nice to see so many athletes on the morning for a local race. Mm -hmm. So that's always a good thing. What part yeah. of the route yes. was the most challenging for you? The last hill. The Marisil Hill. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I turn back and I'm like, okay, so there's nobody behind me. Let's just pace this out <laughs> until we get back to the junction. <laughs> But it was good, the challenge is always good, and we always welcome those, yeah. <laughs> Can you share the competing in St. Lucia? Um, uh, yes. To come and uh, go up against some of St. Lucia's best. Uh, what was this like for you, and how was it uh, meeting and uh, competing against? It wasn't anything new. It's not my yeah, first time but... racing with my friend here. It's not my first time racing with some of your local athletes. Mm -hmm. it, it was good. It was good. Yes. I will look forward to coming back here next year, and any time you have competition. Again. Thank you. I want to thank the Lord, you know, for giving me the strength, you know, to be here today. Thank you for all the part participants. Uh, actually, the, I just run to keep myself fit and healthy. Sometimes to to look at my performances vis-a-vis -vis the younger people. All in all, it was a great race. So in fact, it was good. And I thank the Lord for the strength. What does the route like for you? Uh, the route was okay. It was very good because there's much, I mean, there wasn't that much here. And so it was okay. Let's talk to us quickly, Leona, about um, uh, you know, participating in this race and being invited over here, especially in the aftermath of, of Maria. Okay, well, it was glad to have an opportunity to leave Dominica Divinis for one day. And it was, I'm happy that you all invited us here. And I hope that next day that we'll be invited again. We might be the same group, but Dominica will be invited again to participate. And I want to thank you all very much for inviting us here. Well, I didn't, ex I didn't know what to expect at the beginning of the race because I see everybody was looking like it was above my level. So I just tried my best and overall I came forth. The race was good over. It was a nice opportunity to come to St. Lucia for my first time to compete in one of the races I love. I for sure looking forward, even though I didn't place obviously first female overall. I know I did a PB today and even not, I'm proud of my performance today. Thank you. Oh, uh, Michael James, I represent Roadbusters Club. Uh, Michael Bissell, I represent Roadbusters Club. In a I represent Roadbusters Club. Uh, well, given the course had a, a bit of a hills, it was a bit more challenging than a flat regular course. For you, what is it? Uh, well, since I'm a, I'm, a stronger, I'm a stronger hill runner, so I use the, the inclines as an advantage over the other guys, over my two teammates. Yes, so that was basically for me. Well, it's kind of the hills, kind of kill me, because of my jogging better. So. 
Yeah, but I did, I did good then. Yeah, the pace was an honest pace. Uh, the plan was to go out there and give it all we have and just fight it out till the end. So who among you was setting the pace? Oh, well, yeah, I was the one up front, yeah, setting the pace yeah. all the time, yeah. Using the, the inclines at my advantage over the other guys. So that was... That was really for me, yeah. Use the heels as advantage over, the, over my opponents. How much pressure were your guys giving you? Ah, they were giving me, they were giving me all for sure. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just use my mental and say, well, I'm not giving up. I'm, I'm already at the front, so just keep on going. Yeah, for me, well, given I had a long track season, so I'm used to running really flat. But once it comes to the heels, it's always going to be a challenge. So on the flats, I was trying to push the pace a little bit more. I was right behind Mega, you know, trying to push it. But you know, you meant in the honest pace, so it was difficult to try to come over and take control of the race. Now, how, how good is it to have a race here in? and Lucia like this? Uh, it's great to have local races, you know, because we have to travel abroad just to get a few races. So it's great to have an event like this. I wish we would have more events like this and we'll get greater numbers, greater people to participate. Uh, the regional mix just prepares for us to have a better local races and, you know, to understand the type of runners that we are internally so we could go out there and give our best every race. Youngest female participant who's a Kadian Pierre and the youngest male participant Quest Gaston. <laughs> Holding up the Sayers family name, our oldest male competitor, Charles Sayers. Keva Pierre, who is just 15 years old. Keva? <laughs> Miss Chatal Glasgow, who has represented St. Lucia with pride in recent weeks. And winning the women's division, visiting us from the Spice Isle of Grenada, Kenesha Pascal. Michael St. Lucia national record holder over a number of distances, two or three, two? Yeah, about three. Two, three national records. Our champion by 10 seconds. Another Michael, Michael Bisset. Michael Mega Boost Bisset. And Michael also gets a trophy. And he gets a check for $500. Congratulations. We've got a few random prizes, including uh, dinner for two at uh, at Sandals uh, Halcyon. Um, so we're uh, happy that uh, you know all of these sponsors were able to come on board and help us um, get this thing done. Lucy Lake, of course, uh, as you said, uh, really helped out big time, um, and we're really uh, pleased and uh, thankful for their support. That is our reality show for tonight. Join us again on Monday for another edition. I am Bernard Fais. This is The Reality Show.